My next guest is known to millions of people as the Duke of Hastings in the giant new show Bridgerton, which is streaming right now on Netflix. Here's Reggae Jean Page. Hey, hi, how you doing? Thanks so <laughs> much uh, for coming on the show. It is great to meet you. Uh, we, have, we have a lot to talk You're about. welcome, uh, thank you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> a lot of people now, now know you from Bridgerton, but uh, you've yes. been acting yep. since you were a kid. We, we have an old headshot here that you posted. Look at that, <laughs> look at that guy. <laughs> I was in the height of too damn muchery as a kid. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, well, I mean, that's, that's not even a, a caption or a witticism. That is a statement of fact. Look at his face. That is the definition of too damn muchery. That's if there was a picture in the dictionary, he'd be there. He's, he's my hero. I love that guy. Uh, well, buddy, look at you now, man. Uh, the internet has decided that you're a front runner to be the next James Bond. They all want it to happen. I want this to happen. The betting odds right now are at five to one. Uh, I. I'm gonna give you the uh, the stage here. Is there anything you want to tell us tonight? Um, I think the internet thinks a lot of things, and that's one of the more pleasant ones. So <laughs> I can be pleased as far as that goes. Yeah. yeah. Um, but no, I, th I think there might, there might be an element of like a cultural translation to be done here. Like if you're a Brit and you do something of any kind of renown that people regard well, <laughs> then people start saying the B word. You know, it's like a merit badge. You get the B word merit badge. Um, oh, but that's, I don't think it's much more than that. that I'm very, so very glad funny. to have the badge. I'm glad to be in such wonderful company of people who have the badge. Yeah. But it's, it's a badge. <laughs> uh, well, dude, I, I would say, I, I would think you'd be fantastic. I want to talk about Bridgerton. Thank you uh, very much. It premiered on Christmas, uh, and so everyone was at home, and everyone in the world watched it, and it exploded. Uh, <laughs> it is at the peak of pop culture. How would you describe it, to, to this show, to people who have not seen it yet? Ooh, it's, um, it's kind of like Jane Austen meets Gossip Girl with like 35 shades of gray, you know? <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> yeah, that's a perfect it's, it's description. It's like 35. That's a perfect, um, you know. <laughs> things do get a little steamy in the show, uh, to say the least. Yeah, a tad, a did touch. You, did you feel like you had to give your family a heads up? Uh, yeah, I, was, I mean, to be fair, at this point, you can't really phase my family. If you come up through theater, like they see stuff. Um, yeah. And they kind of they, they 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 kind of don't even blink anymore. But there are there are warnings. Like the the family WhatsApp group has like red flashing lights. It's like F five. Boop 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 boop. Yeah. Okay. Um, very good. <laughs> but you don't tend to reach everyone. Sometimes we missed one of my cousins, and she sent me a message just like I had to make so many tactical cups of tea during this show. <laughs> She's going okay. I can't. And okay. so she like <laughs> making tea. Uh -huh. But she's like, and then I'd come back and you were still going. So I'd have to go back and put the kettle back on. <laughs> and so like my family are very, very stimulated and caffeinated at this point, which sounds like a deadly combination. That is so fun. I mean, it, was, it must be fun to, to, to shoot that show. I mean, uh, a lot of work. Uh, I will say the dancing uh, is fantastic. Uh, Thank you got you some... very much. We worked very hard on it. <laughs> you did, right? I could tell. It's like, it's tricky stuff. I mean, but you do it like you've like, You've done it, uh, I mean, did you get coached and all that? A hundred thousand times in rehearsal. That's, uh, that's how we do it. Like, we rehearsed it until we dropped. Um, we spent endless, endless hours in dance rehearsals. Uh, neither Phoebe nor I are like championship dancers, but we're also surrounded by professional dancers. Yeah. Um, so we would, we, I think we were both a bit shaken and we'd like even call each other up and you're like, hey, um, I know we rehearsed all week, but are you free on Saturday to rehearse the dance some more? And then we did. Yeah. Um, because uh, also they show off. Dancers aren't shy. Like Chris Van Dusen, the showrunner, would like throw Rihanna on on set just to like loosen up the energy. And they'd all start throwing down like professional dancers. And then we'd go back into like the classical dance. Yeah, I've seen and that like, too. Oh, wow, I gotta, I gotta compete with that. Um, are, you, are you also, I heard you somewhere talking about working with the horses and that that's been a whole <laughs> different experience. Well, I mean, horses are the biggest divas on set. If anyone ever tells you otherwise, don't believe them. Um, it's, you know, like the animals and kids thing, it's particularly yeah. horses, because they're like incredibly intelligent children with the power of a horse. Yes. So like, you can't say the word A-C-T-I-O-N on set around a horse, because they know what it means. Um, and so someone just like, blithely yells action the horse will run it will just like sprint off down a high street in bath mow down 10 grannies and the insurance company shuts all down but i saw some pictures somewhere too of like because obviously you can't do the whole these carriage rides all you know if you have to do scene by scene you wouldn't do it with the horse so it's on green screen and there's like crew uh and guys 
There it is, right there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. There's, Shaking that's, the carriage. That's carry. the movie magic. It's like when we're on green screen, there's no horses in the studio. It's just like a couple of set PAs and a grip and someone from the camera crew who's drawn the short straw, just like whoever's free. It's like being in theater. It's all hands on deck. It's like, yo, who wants to be a horse right now? We need to shake the carriage. And so like your mate Pete and a couple of guys come over and just start shoving it. And they're Damn. like, shove it more, they're going faster. And so they shove it harder and you're like having a deep romantic moment with the love of your life. And Pete's just like, just trying to put you off. <laughs> uh, I love they're making horse sound effects too. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Like it's it's a naughty it's a naughty crew, but also it's just very generous. It's that thing that Brits do. Like there were hundreds of people that worked so hard to make this thing happen, and that is very apt. It's very much a big team effort, so it's it's not a bad memory to have. No. Well, congrats <laughs> on uh, all the success. I want to show everyone a clip. Here is Reggae Jean Page in Bridgerton. Take a look. I'm afraid we are required to fan the flames of our charade. Ah, because Lord Burbrook, I presume. I heard. We must make him believe that you are the very precipice of a proposal. So that he will leave me alone. I should hope I do not lose my balance then. No, I should hope not either. If you will be glued to my side all evening. And we must look like we are enjoying ourselves, as difficult as that may be. Yes, quite. Reggae Jean Page. I love saying the name. Bridgerton <laughs> is streaming now on Netflix. Thank you so much for being here, buddy.